Okay, this is where we're gonna start. <laughs> Welcome back to Demon Souls, everyone. Sorry, I forgot to press record. Uh, I realized here on the cutscene. Good thing I checked because this would have been embarrassing. Like this is a non, non replayable cutscene, so we'd be screwed here. Um, I don't even know when I last recorded this game. It's been quite a while. It's been a hot minute, which is something I feel like I always say. Uh, when I started one of these episodes. Uh, the thing is, there have been some like developments going on in my life, positive developments. Um, basically, okay, let's just watch this cutscene. Let's not interrupt because this is a cool cutscene. I and mean, look at that Zambo. And the interesting thing, he looks like an undead from Dark Souls. He has the same like chest pattern. I actually remembered to move my face cam. Now that I'm not... Holy shit. Now that, now that I'm not recording Sekiro anymore, uh, you know, that's not gonna be an issue. So, post cutscene. So yeah, there have been just like some things going on in my life. Uh, very positive. Basically, I'm going to be changing jobs at the end of November, I'm moving to a new workplace, uh, higher position, just at a different company. So that's been something that's kind of like occupied me uh, the past couple of weeks. That's why I uploads have been a little bit more infrequent because I'm doing my normal job as well. I was applying, going to interviews and all that. And in the end, they decided to go for me. Uh, so that's good. That's positive. But anyway, so that's one of the things that made it a little bit more busy. Uh, things are starting to calm down now. Everything is sorted. I'm just waiting to go, basically. Uh, which is a little bit weird because you gotta understand, I've talked about this on stream before and shit like that, but the job I'm at currently, even though I've been doing like different positions, like different roles, I've been at the same company for almost five years and this is my... God, I hate that you can hit their corpses. Uh, and this is my first workplace ever, so... You know, just taking that step to change was kind of a big one. But, you know, the thing is, like, where I'm at right now, uh, moving up is not too easy. And, you know, after five years, you kind of, like, want to... You, you know, you don't want to start doing something new. You want to move up. Even though I'm not, like, a... You know... I don't want to be a CEO. I ain't cut out to be no CEO, to use the wire reference. I'm going to kill one crystal, because why not? Um, You know, you still kind of want to move up slowly, which is just not possible here. So, I finally took the plunge to move. Holy shit, okay. I was expecting a little bit more damage. Okay, you are not weak to fire. Okay, this is gonna be painful. So... Yeah, that's just basically it. A little bit of insight into IRL sketchhead happenings. Things should calm down. I, I expect there to be... Another fucking hell. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. I expect there to be another period of like... Um, chaos. Which we'll see what it means for the channel when I actually move. Uh, or start my new job, which is end of November. Obviously, I'm gonna be sort of like a little bit busier than normal. Gotta learn everything. Gotta like, you know, just readjust. The thing about the new place... Well, everybody's working from home anyways, but... It's a bit farther from my house. And all that, but that should not matter. Uh, in terms of the videos. This is a fascinating magic battle. Uh, you gotta be careful because this guy can combo you. So... The other thing that's been going on in my life, obviously, you know... The dog... Peretz. 
follow him on Instagram. If I don't forget, editing Mr. Sketchhead will put his Instagram right here somewhere. Uh, follow my dog. And not my dog like my dog with a W. My actual dog. Uh, he's just, you know, growing a lot. He's gonna be five months. Shit. God. I expected this to be challenging because this guy knows how to dodge. Luckily, he doesn't know how to backstep because he's stupid. Um, but you know. This is gonna be a... Quite a battle, you know. So yeah, you know, my dog, he's just growing a lot. Developing, you know, you, he's really like... He's still a puppy, very much, but... He is a lot more like mature, you know. There are actual periods of calm in my life now. Instead of constantly play, 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 play. I take him to... Oh, shit. If this guy kills me, I'm gonna be so pissed. I take him to like obedience classes weekly, three times a week. And he's doing really well there. Um, you know, the advantage of having a Labrador they're like very friendly in general you know like friendly with dogs friendly with people motherfuck what does bleed do in this game i don't even know does it just like drain your hp oh shit this doesn't pause this isn't sekiro fuck this guy i forgot he has magic too um Let's just finish this guy off before I, like, babble myself to death. Um, so yeah, I take him to obedience classes. He's just, again, he, oh yeah, the Labrador thing. That's the advantage of having a Labrador. It's just like, they're kind of easy dogs to work with, even though they're kind of stubborn. And mine is stubborn as well, a bit. But, you know, it's just a smart dog, easy to work with. So, it's been going on as well. And this is why I wanted to do this. Uh, I wanted to get the Archdemon soul. And the reason I wanted to do that is because that will allow us to get Yuria. And Yuria is really what I want. Um, she's the one I want. Because... Oh, you know why. <laughs> like, that's tempting. I'm not saying that's not tempting, but some HP and magic does not hurt, does it? Magic capacity increased. Nice, nice, nice. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Let's get a spell. So you can use homing soul arrow. That's the... Now, see, that is nice. It needs two memory slots, though. And I'm not sure whether Yuria can make anything from this. I don't remember. Let's just hold out a little bit. What I'm gonna do is we'll get Soul Ray. Cool, and I'm gonna head to Boletaria straight away. Like we're gonna do we're gonna do the Yuria thing ASAP. Because well you know you, you just kinda wanna do that. I don't expect this place to be too difficult. I don't expect, again, the rest of the game to be too difficult. You just will see. And I think I do have the official hat, so it should be even easier. Because we just need to get the key, which drops from... I think the last uh, fat official that you kill. And then we're Gucci. We can get what's his name as well. Bjork. Bjorn. Not Bjork. There is a Bjork, but you know, obviously. That's different. I don't like. I have unbeatable spell versatility at this point. Not really, but. Let's just pretend. One of the things that I've always kind of 
you know, not didn't like, that's a bad word for it. It's kind of a shame. Something that's kind of a shame is that the like weirder spells never tend to be any useful in PvE, especially in these games. There are a lot of cool spells, you know, all types of different homing arrows and poison and acid cloud and everything. And in PvE, it's just absolutely not worth using because, you know, you just have your super powerful soul rays and crystal soul spears and crystal homing soul mass in the other games. It's like, why would you ever go for something like poison cloud, which does work on a lot of enemies. But it's just like, you know, what's the point? It would be cool if enemies had like more pronounced like magic weaknesses. You know what I mean. But in a way that like, for example, one enemy would be... Oh god, that would be cool if I could... God. You know what I wanted to do. Okay, you guys have a lot of HP. Man, it's nice to have this much MP at this point. I feel like I'm finally at a point where I don't really need to worry. I still think I'll need to commit to farming H Spice, which should be, well, okay to do. Easy to do that in Lottery 1. I should, you know, I should be smarter. Utilize the flame toss or whatever it's called. Fire spray. You'd think I'd know the name of the spells I have equipped. There's only four of them, but whatever. Huh. I don't remember that like really happening ever. Yeah, it's always one or two points of damage somehow. See, now I'm wondering, this place right here, okay, I don't need the ambush, whatever, there's nothing in there. I do wonder if I can fight them from over here. <laughs> Hell yeah, I can. Cool. Man spells look good in this game. This is kind of an annoying section. Honestly, if you're not, uh, like, careful. Because they just keep shooting at you. Now that is more like it. But yeah, that makes it very convenient. Holy f... What the hell? Wait, that's a little bit cheating, isn't it? I was stuck in the animation. The fucking fog animation and the dude still hit me that's a bit that ain't kosher apparently that's the thing I don't think this guy's meant to reach you because he normally shows up from like around the corner I keep pointing but I always forget like how, like how much I'm in frame I'm never gonna get used to that what a fatty Okay. He didn't like that, did he? I hit him with the what up fatty and he took offense. Fair enough. Let's see who has the better spells. I got you beaten variety, that's for sure. Whoa, okay. I didn't know their melee had that much range. Yeah, they're definitely weak to fire the most. That's the key. I thought it was the last one that dropped it. Whatever. All we gotta do now is to circle back around. Crossbow guys. 
There's always a cro- wait, hold on. I know I'm- I'm wasting. That is not optimal MP use, but bruh. Listen. Sometimes you gotta be just practical. Now that is optimal MP usage. The very definition. Interesting hitbox. Dark Souls 2 vibes. Okay, before I accidentally use the new moon grass or something, let's just de-equip it. See, going low HP in this game does have its advantages. Or sticking to like lower vitality. And that you can keep using half moon grass, which is the easiest one to get. Do you see that dodge? That was the best unintentional dodge I've ever had. Intentional, I should say. Fully intended. Just how cool I am. Anyways, we should be getting close to looping back around. Holy shit. Is so Ray dank or what? It's something I've noticed, something I've just noticed, and I can't believe it. It's taken me. Okay, that hurt. This many episodes noticed that when you kill one of these enemies with magic, they disintegrate instead of. I don't know how I was able to kill the ones across the bridge and not these ones. Oh, whatever. Yeah, so some enemies, when you kill them with the soul arrow type magic, they disintegrate and their corpse doesn't stay on the ground. That is really, really cool. The kind of attention to detail I want in my video games. Shit. And it's very subtle, you know? Like, it's not a, not a big deal that it's not. Like, if the corpse has just stayed, it would be fine, but... You know, it's just that little extra spiciness. I'm using a lot of healing items though. Fuck. See, now that's a one shot. 100%. Alright, let's rescue Mr. Ostrava for the millionth time. Yeah, 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 just chill. Hold on for like a minute. We know you can't fight. We've established that. Let me just pick up the cap. I want that hat. Did I just... I almost killed him. <laughs> I, I legit almost just killed him. He ran... He And it's the same thing. He fucking ran into my... Unbelievable. Alright, let's go make up with him. Sorry for blasting you, Ostrava. You saved my life. This is the third time. I am truly indebted to you. This is It's all he has. But please accept it. Sorry I shot you and it went through you. My father, the king, awaits me. Yep, he gives you the clear stone. I thought he was supposed to run in there, but Never mind, we we don't mind the details like that, do we? That Soul Rayman works out pretty well, not gonna lie. Cool. Let's go back and 
rescue Bjork and then we can get on with Yuria. All right, here we go. Prison area. Not much to this place, couple of enemies. And that's about it. I think somebody said he helps you with the guards as well. Like there's uh, like one or two fat officials here. He's supposed to help you. Let's just get him. Hell yeah. This guy has such a cool armor set. That is new dialogue, I was just about to say. Yeah, awesome. That is awesome. Um, Bjor. Are you gonna... There he is. Is there... Are we gonna have a showdown or... Bro. Come on. That's disappointing. I thought he would like run out or something. Did I block his pathing? Well, that's a little bit underwhelming. Um... Okay, he has cool dialogue, but... I think I need to lure. I'm, go I'm gonna do this. Like, I'm invested in this now. There he goes. There he goes. Go Bjor. Yeah, again, this dude is crazy powerful. <laughs> Four damage. Shit, let's, let's not piss this guy off, because our magic ain't gonna do shit. That damage, though. That's really cool. I didn't know this was a thing. Bloody iron key. Nice. Quite an angle here. God, the, the limp movement is a little bit off in this game. But it's okay. I mean, has there ever been a Souls game with more detailed facial animations? Maybe Sekiro. But I would say none, really. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what they do with Elden Ring. Which... Well, it's still far away, but not as far away when, and as when it was when there was no information on it whatsoever that is a really cool like little event i didn't know bior would like go ape shit on that guy yeah so i saw it in like some youtube video actually anyways this is going to be an important thing You know, it doesn't count if I'm doing it for breaking shit. We gotta have some, like, leeway to the rules, don't we? This is a cool area, too. Everything is so detailed, and I always liked this section of the game. I don't know if I've talked about this before, but this has always felt like going to Remium Temple in Final Fantasy X. It's like, you know, discovering some hidden... Like... I don't know, forgotten part of... Oh... Ring of Magical Nature, I do like... 
the sound of that. Let's put on the hat. Are you kidding me? Did you see what? What up? Um. Hello. There's a fat official here waiting to waiting to go up. What the hell? Listen, I'm almost dressed as a full official. I don't have the... <laughs> you don't need like something else, do you? Shit. Google, come to my rescue. You'll also need four pieces of special officials... Equ Shit. Okay. Official clothes are found after the Tunnel City Arch Stone. Follow the path past the minecarts. You should come to an official guarding the... Unbelievable. Okay, well. They're not gonna make my life easy, are they? You need the whole set uh, to be able to do this. Alright then, whatever. Handy feature of Demon Souls that you don't actually need to go back to the Nexus to transition between zones. Nice touch, boys. Nice touch. I know where this official is, uh, or like which one they're talking about, so this should be fairly easy to do. It's this one right here. I Maybe I'm just misremembering it, but I think it used to be only the hat that you needed. I mean, the whole set makes more sense, I'm guessing. The hat makes sense too, because they can see you only from above. That's strafing though. Don't burn his shit. Why am I overburdened? Motherfucker. I'm not gonna be able to avoid visiting the Nexus, am I? Okay, this is what I wanted to check out. Uh, we have... Okay, the Ring of the Accursed Lord's enemies, and this one increases magic memory capacity the quite the thing is i'm liking the current setup i have with like my rings so i don't know man anyways we're officially dressed as an official god sekiro fuck me i keep go I keep pressing square uh to interact with shit yeah Whatever. Let's get back to the tower. Okay, this should work now. I do like the look of this set. I think this is one of those pieces of equipment that looks different on male and female characters. Uh, and I do like the look of this. That light, like purple going through it. Yeah, bitch. Drop that shit and get blast. Okay. get blasted cool achievement we'll take it hello Yuria She looks quite different than she did before. Oh, yeah, yeah, you need to like... Put your shit back. Sorry, I'm just gonna change in front of you. How the hell did she mistake me for a fat official? Damn. Blind as hell too. Cool. 
That, my friends, is how you rescue Yuria. A pretty important NPC. Not gonna lie, because she's a magic type. Magic type Pokemon, and she has some pretty good spells. All right. I almost killed myself falling off the tower. Never mind. There's a soul. Yeah, and as I head back, as we head back to the Nexus, I feel like firing a soul ray. And this as well. I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping up this episode here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Demon Souls. Uh, we'll pick it up from here the next time where I'm going to visit Yuria in the Nexus and see what she has to offer in terms of spells. I keep going the wrong way here. Don't ignore me. Like, you know, my sense of directions. Yeah. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe on this video if you enjoyed. As always, turn on post notifications. And yeah, I'll catch all of you next time. Goodbye.